What's up, Michigan Disc Golf fam? It is your boy Matt Jackson here with my buddy Clayton Hodge. And we are here to give you the second round action of the Johnson Park Championship. Stoked to be here. The first round was a blast. We had some fire scores from a few competitors, and we're going to have a few new faces on our lead card. Yeah, absolutely. It's just getting hot out here, and it was hot enough before. Uh, shout out to Crew42, GRDGU, Great Lakes Disc Golf. Um, and everybody else on the right side, the Patreon supporters over there. We do appreciate it. Um, Crew 42 does awesome things for the Michigan Disc Golf, giving you live coverage of these events. And again, thank you to everyone who makes this possible because it is fun to be here. 100%. All right. So for our second round coverage, we have Zachary Vaughn, 975 rated. He has been, I believe he's from the Shore Acres area and a extremely good golfer. So excited to watch him. Reed Frescura, I played with this guy the first round in the AM card, cooling off his butt. He had a he had a good first round, Neg 11. He's fire, so yep. he needs to chill out a little bit. We, <laughs> we all know Reed Frescura and his goofy antics. Yep. We have Jacob Arvidsson. He is from the Holland area, a very good athlete, has an awesome course in his house, and excited to watch him play, really. Oh, Willie with a big smile. Changed his whole outfit, it looks like. Green and out. He's yep. ready to step up to Johnson and take it down again. Yup. 998 rated first round. I'm sure he's going to step it up this round. Here we go. Hole one again, 300 feet. This is a great starting hole. Um, most people will be throwing a right-handed backhand with a neutral to overstable disc, whether it is a fairway or high speed, hanging out wide and doing their best to crash it into that basket. 100%. We'll have Zach, who had the fire 12 under first round coming out. And it looks like he'll, again, be throwing a high speed. Imagine a destroyer. A firebird. Who and knows? that looks a little low and a little left, but I could be totally wrong. Low is good because you get that pushing forward and skip. It is, and there it is. There it is. <laughs> okay. Absolutely right. Oh, well. We got the lefty Reed yep. Frascura, so excited to watch him throw some new lines this round. This guy, the first round, just got into the tournament. Okay. <laughs> Was waiting around to see if he'd get in. Last minute, somebody didn't show up. He got put on an AM card with me. <laughs> and shoots 11 under <laughs> shoots 11 under. Asking me questions about the holes. Like, hey, what should I shoot here? This is Boy, hilarious. Great forehand there. I know 100%. he's been working on that well, and it was a beautiful shot. Willie coming off the start with a good hyzer. And that is how you want to start your second round. Yep. Really excited to watch Jacob throw. Um, good buddy of mine. We've played soccer together. And just really haven't spent much time on the disc golf course with him. Going straight backhand there. Saw it off. Looks Oof, a touch saw tough. it off. Possibly giving him a pitch up for par for sure. Yep. Looks like a little zone touch. Could run it. There's a back of the hill behind the basket. Yep. Okay. And that, that first shot could be first round ner or final round nerves, or it really is just a common mistake. Playing on high camera, I have not done it yet, but I would imagine it gives you that's your first time. For goodness. sure. And then we also have some some local legends who have been on camera a lot. You obviously know the name Willie and Reed, so I'm excited to see how they attack this course. Yeah, that's gonna be a sweet one. These guys tapping in for, for birdies. Good nope. Good touch. Everyone else kind of cleaning it up. Reed being goofy, it looks like he was blowing him some kisses. I know that they are good friends from relatively close areas of the Holland. Hole two, 311 feet. We, like we explained first round, it is 250 feet kind of straight out in front of you and then you just go up a steep cliff, a steep cliff, excuse me. And it really is a good shot to drive it right into that hillside. It'll catch the speed and give you a good putt. But I will mention that crazy stuff happens around this pin. 100%, <laughs> we are gonna see maybe a roll away this Maybe is it. I, you never know. And that is what I picture in this hole is kind of that low driven to the side of the hill, have it push up. He's going to be inside the circle and liking where he's at. Yep. Willie's going a little bit higher this round. Yep. Gonna but be if you land above that basket, you're definitely going to stick. For sure. That is and some Velcro grass right there. <laughs> I'm lefty, lefty backhand? Right. I thought we were going to see a sidearm after that first hole. It's a very similar throw except uphill. This okay. is that low driven. It looks a little too stable. Are we going to see a skip to the right, or is it going to stick? Okay, and that is that putt that is very common. He should here. be good, though, putting up the hill with the left hand, fading totally towards the right side. Yep. Jacob going with the forehand. Wow. We're seeing some unique shots on this hole. I like this. Looks like that's driven nicely. There we go. Get a little stable. Beautiful shot. Looks okay. like circle's edge, left side of the pin. 
Reed's we know Reed out. is a phenomenal putter, so I'm not surprised to see stuff like Oh! You are that surprised. Happen. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Gross. Oh! Sit. Come on. It's all right. It's sat. Zach going uphill. Big putt. You just watched two putts go through. All right, Beautiful. perfect. That's it. I mean, birdie birdie start is ideal, obviously. I mean, come on. But is you have to execute two really good shots, so it's a good way to start it off. I Willie. feel like you really want three out of these first four holes at least. That They're makes off. you – that's yeah, I totally agree. Three out of the first four to get going. Perfect. Everyone else tapping out for their pars. We had Willie with a beautiful birdie putt, Zach with their birdie putt. So two out of the four, which I, is very common. I, I'm not sure the statistics on this hole. I think Clayton can give it to you. Let's see right here. We got hole number two. Oh, played actually even with par this round. Interesting. One of the harder holes. Let's see if anybody else did. Oh, hole 18 as well. So we'll Hole that. three, 205 feet. Again, they were able to clear out a lot of the trees on the left side of this fairway to give you a more reasonable disc off shot. Yeah, you um, used to see like a touchy roller or something. Oh, that you, you saw some crazy stuff. Step up and just throw a different throw every time you're trying to figure it out. You see most people throwing a hyzer from the right corner of this pad now. That looks tasty. See, back in the day, that was Ooh. that was into the tree line. 100%. So when they pushed it out, it actually gave you that chance to get to the pin. Willie going that inside route as well with a hyzer. That looks nice. Oh, wow. Nope. Touch short. Interesting. Okay. Lefty like, sidearm. Big spike, probably. I'm going to guess. He looks like he's rolling it. He is. Cut, roll. Cut. That's not what that I was going to guess. That is Reed gear at his finest. And that is going to give you a 40-foot uphill putt, probably. It's cute. But, yeah. <laughs> Shows you got some control with a Frisbee. 100%. We need Jake to get started here. I can see him getting That's off to a good pole. Looks like maybe an overstable zone. Yeah. And again, another common. A circle's edge going right back up the hill. We're going to see some big putts right here. This is going to be a tough one. He might be able to see the basket, Zach, from there. Nope. Oh, it looks like he part. trickled some, some, some branches on the way up. Circles edge up the hill. Not Just quite getting enough to hand Didn't complete his follow through all the way, it looked like. After that cut roller. Silly Reed for Sakura. Going for a nice little jump putt. Aye. Sit. Not happy with that. Looks like, like Reed bulked up in the offseason. Got oh, a lot he, stronger. He definitely put on a oh. few muscular pounds for sure. I know that he is. Some good LBs. Definitely. Healthy. Good shot. That's a way to clean that up. Come on. Everyone else kind of tapping out. Again, super goofy hole. It's a it's a good hole. It's not gimmicky. It's just very goofy. Dude, this is the most hated hole on the course. I would totally agree. <laughs> yeah, but, I was trying to be nice, but, but it's a, uh, you know. But it's still, like I said, it's still not a bad disc golf hole. It it's plays in rhythm with the course. It is what Johnson is. Yep. Uh, you got to deal with it. Totally, okay. totally, totally. <laughs> Rock onto that. So we're getting off that one to what I see as the easiest hole on the course. We have hole four here. This is statistically the easiest hole this round on the course. Makes even sense. Even with the wind, because the wind's picking up more and more as the as the day goes on. This is uh, actually the easiest hole. This is played easier this round than last round. Interesting. And like I said, it is right in front of you at 223, 222 feet, and you have all the room on the left side or the right side. Common throw is an overstable disc, Going slow wide. putter, and just crashing into the hillside, as you see Zach do perfectly. It has that nice little 10-foot area around the basket that's all sand. You're not going to skip off of it. That's You're look actually looking to skip onto that. Definitely. That's the awesome part about Johnson, too. A lot of it is a sand-based Get in. Get soil. In. Oh, Ooh. goodness gracious. And it does catch up a lot of that speed coming <laughs> these into These cameras are giving these Instagram am angles. For sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Online disc offer angles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And oh, my gosh. Another one looking good. Cool. Oh, we're talking <laughs> inches in front of that. In, we're going to talk I, to the camera. I haven't now. been in a while, but I can see the forehand from a righty being a good shot as well. This looks... Yeah. No, I, I really I the rarely basket. see this. This is cool. And like you'll see, you should get your disc within circle on this hole. And if you didn't, you messed up in a way. Mm. Got to use those buns. Get down. For sure. A little frustrated with that one. Yep. Um, Nerves, for sure. It's tough. I, I could see him like being on lead card for a big Grand Rapids event few soft putts but at the same time there's still a lot of golf left and i know the kid can play so still excited to watch him yeah, good tap off, off of reed we'll, we'll have some holes we have csi reed with the sunglasses <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else tapping out 
Let's go. We just need to get that putter going. We need that CTP to be on top of the basket. <laughs> hole five is a 235 foot hole that is famous for, again, a shout out to Sam Ardeza's jump putt ace. It is downhill, OB line, probably 10, 15 feet long, and it is a speed control shot. Ooh, first backhand on film right here on this one. Here it goes. Gets, needs to get stable a little bit. That's the risk. Okay. You're good. He's actually gonna like that. If I be yep. inside the circle, putting at it, which is Spike Heiser. Let's see if he can get a little bit further this round than last. Oh, it's looking the, the Very same. Very similar, kind of Heiser, not early, but hmm. We'll have to see what he has from there. This read, should be read all day. I imagine coming at it with all a zone day, overstable left side. He might. Have, I don't know. Get in there. Yeah. Yep. That's a pretty routine shot, I would assume. 100%. And this is what I my play, personally, is a good forehand to the outside. Get it high enough and have it spike down to lose its momentum, so no skip. Hands on the hips. And dang, good close, tree. Yeah. That looked like it had a lot of speed coming in. Could have been bouncing OB after that. Yep, good save. Look I at the window. Can... Does that have a window? Does he? Oh, no, he's horseshoe putting. Nope. Interesting. That's a sweet stamp, though. There's there's his putter for hundred for anyone looking for one. Yup, Willie Prince signature stamp, looking good. There it is. That is a great putt from Jacob. Time to get that thing rolling for the rest of the round. It's a good birdie. Reed coming to tap at his birdie as well. Does he put the shades on to get his disc? No, keeps him off his. I was okay. <laughs> Really, after a good start, probably going to miss not getting that hole, but at the same time, it happens. Lots of holes ahead of for sure. Yeah. A lot of golf. Hole six. We're going to get the dual screen. There it is. So sick. So good. Got a shout out to Crew42 Always. here. Always. You rarely see this. Dual screen, drone coverage up the hill. Okay, and then we go back to one to see the green. You have the right side with the backhand hyzer. It's more of a straight throw, and then you ha definitely have the hyzer lefty play, but he's gonna flip one up here. Looks like you know what? Vanessa Van Dyke and Meteor. I think he knows that girl. I I think they've <laughs> met a couple times. Yeah, Van Dyke and shout out Van Dyke, and if you don't have a Van Dyke and Meteor in your bag, you're messing up. I totally agree. The perfect mix of stability and Meteor together. Yep, 100 per cent. This is the forehand route that it's perfect. Yeah, I like that. A little long, but at the same time, as soon as you get to the top of the hill, you're going to have a putt. Stand still. A couple of these so far. Yeah. And, and that's, that's how you play it. You get a good skip at the top of the hill, and he will like that as well. Yeah, as long as you get to the top of the hill there, you're putting. You're good. Willie. Willie. Looks a touch shot off. Touching it off, going into the middle. Does he get through a little bit? No. Little forehand approach. That was saucy. Nice touch. Good touch, yeah. Interesting to miss hole five and six. This looks like a little circle's edge knee knocker. Beautiful putt. Looks like he's got that putter kind of rolling now. Yup. Read no sunglasses at all. No sunglasses. He threw, he threw them on the ground a lot this tournament from what I noticed. He must... And a very rare miss from the Disc Golf Pro Tour putting champion, virtual putting champion. You will not see that very often. Sack from about 20 feet. Is he putt with a rhino? Looks like well? a rhino putt. Wow. You know all about those rhinos. Yeah, but not the putting aspect of things. Like, For sure. <laughs> second second tap time out there. It. And yeah, from Jeff in round one, yep. and now from Zach in round two. I guess if you live in Michigan and you're accustomed to the wind here, you're like you're not playing around. Just go rhino putt. Which, yeah, <laughs> sure. Off to hole seven, we have the 307 foot. Again, two routes on this. Uh, most three. three, if you want to put it in the thumber. <laughs> um, most common right hand backhand is going to be a straight to overstable disc through the right edge. As soon as you get to that mouth, we kind of, if you get through it straight, the disc will do the work to stall out. You'll also see the forehand here that Jacob has, and that looks really nice. Coming in at a pure spike, 
That's good. And right, yeah, perfect. That left side is more open, but you're really going to have to trust your sidearm. That's what I found. Definitely. You need to get it up over the tree line fast enough. Yep. Zach going with a common backhand, which is, again, you just need to get through that mouth. And if you trickle any of those leaves, you're not quite sure where your next shot's going to be from. Stop it. You're okay. left-handed, dude. You have a hyzer gap over there. Vanessa Van Dyken Meteor. Just absolute trust. That is the foundation of any disc off relationship. Is Absolutely. Just throwing a significant other's <laughs> signature disc, and it's going to go towards the pin. 100%. I don't blame him now. Nope. I get it. <laughs> Willie going with your common hyzer route, which, again, puts him in a Skrr. perfect spot. I imagine that's a test flight Raptor. Look. These are the kicks that Johnson can give you on this hole. You see Zach going with a Where patent pending. Going? Show me the hole. What? Roller? It's got to slow down. It's got to stop. Yeah. And past this pin, another Johnson pin placement is a steep hill, and you can <laughs> see he is now climbing back up the hill. A little rhino action. Yep. You could trust yeah. it. For sure. He gets away with a bogey here. Jake, let's see if he can keep this putter going. <laughs> yes, that was can. commitment. His body was balanced the whole way through, looking he good. Got that confidence for sure. Yep. Reed for his unbelievable turnover back here. Well, bounce birdie. back putt right here too. Yep. Yeah, After missing stroke. the last putt, comes back confident. You kind of knew that's pro status. And Prince really? with the oh, Whip. loving the disc for sure. And he's getting his birdie streak going as well. Yep. At least birdie started. There's a lot of cool last names in disc golf. Prince, Queen, King. I, I do like that. <laughs> Hole eight, we have a 299 foot straight through the mouth of these trees. You'll see um, pin is kind of perked up to the right. Common play is a forehand through the mouth or honestly a straight backhand to get you to a putting position. You'll see Jake, he's coming with a common forehand. You just need to miss the tree on the left. That looks good. That looks really That's tasty. what you want. And as Yep. You Two thumbs up all the way. I'm sure that's not what he meant, but that was nice. For sure. Gets and once right. again, once you get to the putting surface, it is it honestly makes it a good shot. This because is a big advantage for Reed right here on this hole. I feel like this is a normal hyzer. Just get it out wide, let it do its thing, and uh, there and you go. He made <laughs> it look as good as he is at disc golf. Yep. Just made this hole look easy. Now this is this can be tough if you get caught up in the wind. There was wind out there. He is forcing it. I'm wondering if that's a little bit stable. Like an overstable buzz, maybe, and that is a extremely difficult Straight. shot that he made look so easy. Gorgy, let's go. Zach needs to follow that up. That looks, looks like, that's like a beat up something. Something super understable. It was dirty. <laughs> and this is where this hole gets scary. Is if you were to saw your forehand off or turn your oh, back. Oh, he's in. right in the mud pit too. There's like a little soft there is. mud it spot does get right soft. there. Looks like a little rhino pitch out, and he's lucky to have a window because bogeys yeah. can happen from there. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. Can Jake keep that putter rolling? Bam. Good rhythm. Good he's rhythm. confident. Took him a couple holes, but he is feeling good with that putter. He's not camera shy anymore. Let's go. Oh! No. I think that was a, a slight missed putt, but also very rough by the basket. Yeah. yeah. It sat on the edge of that basket for a long time. <laughs> a day. A whole day. For him, probably felt <laughs> yeah. a whole day. Zach tapping his par. And ouch. Goodness gracious, here he comes. You can see he's frustrated, puts the sunshades on. I might put a little slime on the, the dirt there. And get we're going to get off this hole. Yeah, move on. To hole nine, to end our front nine, we have a 308 foot. Again, I would say a straight to hyzer hole for a right handed backhand player. You'll know that the green is relatively fast, so you do see a lot of skips if it's coming in too fast. I do remember in 2018, I believe Andrew Marweed aced this hole with a destroyer. Gross. And we have Jacob continuing that hot stretch with that straight to stable disc. This looks nice. Look at that full turn on that finish of his drive. And slow skip. He should be within 20. Yeah, beautiful 15. shot. Yep. Beautiful. No, 17. Let's call it 17. I like that. Okay. Willie, I imagine going Raptor. Raptor over the tree. That's what you like to like. I like right? I like that play right there. I throw it a little bit higher to try to get a little bit less skip, but it looks like he had speed control. That's absolutely professional. Oh um, man, he did. <laughs> and he did. This yeah. is a more common, which I thought he, I thought he might go meteor, but the lefty forehand <laughs> looks like he's going his nuke. Oh, and he I maybe frustration from that last play. I like think he, it's the extra lbs and strength that he picked up. Uh, that he, was a lot. He has bulked up for sure. Yeah. There's no question about that. Exactly, like he's going destroyer as well. Nice and smooth. That smooth, hyzer. Let's see the skip. Is it going in? 
Oh, yeah. That's the skip you get with a twelve sp- with a high speed driver. Yep, that's the danger. But he he got caught up and it looks good. Read with the patent. Was that patent pending? It looked kind of patent pending and a little flick of the wrist. And he Goodness is gracious. Happy is color shift something? I would think that was a TI buzz would be my guess. I'm going to guess color shift wasp. Read and comment in the comments below. Thank you. <laughs> Great putt from Zach. He nice. was able to come back after that a little bit of a skip coming down the hill. Willie with his perfect drive to a good confident yep. putt. Yep. Too good. And Jacob to continue the stretch. That is four in a row from the kid, and he is moving in the right direction. See top of the pad right now? I lied. That is five in a row from Jacob. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and again, we appreciate you guys having us out for this front nine action. To sum that up, we have Willie Prince with a good six under par. Jacob finally got it together after first maybe the first few holes jitters with a five chasing Willie really nicely. Look and that Willie caught up and he's tied with Zach going into the back ten. The right back. Here. We're gonna have a very exciting Battle. back ten and we are excited. Again, thanks to everyone who made this possible. Enjoy spending my time here with my buddy Clayton and we'll catch you for the back ten. Let's go. Let's get it done. Come on.